So, um, great to be here. Do we have some echo here? Um, anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I want to talk uh, about uh, some work that my, uh, my group has been uh, doing for the past several years. This is joint work with uh, a, a number of members of my own group at Yale and uh, co collaborators at Yale and elsewhere. So, on the internet, uh, nobody knows you're a dog, right? To, uh, to quote the, the uh, New Yorker uh, commercial. Well, unfortunately, as we've learned in the past year and a half, that's not really true, right? Actually, they know exactly what kind of dog you are, uh, who your friends are, and what you're doing at any given moment. Sorry for, for uh, about all the cultural references to US children's bo book. Those might not translate across the Atlantic very well. Um, but, uh, you know, they know exactly what kind of things you like to buy. Um, and uh, they can even figure out kind of fairly personal, you know, intimate details, even just kind of accidentally. I'm not sure if you uh, uh, remember, um, this is slightly paraphrased, when, uh, when Target, uh, uh, Target's advertising system inferred uh, um, uh, a, uh, the, that a teenage girl was pregnant and disclosed that to her dad before, before uh, anybody was supposed to know. So um, this kind of, uh, you know, this kind of thing happens all the time, but, you know, we've heard this phrase before, even just today, why should I care about privacy if I have nothing to hide? Well, I hope most of the people in this room don't need much convincing, but just in case you do, I would, uh, I would throw out Two of many reasons. First reason, just freedom of thought. So uh, basic ground truth, we invented computers as tools to help us think. They, they help us compute, they comp uh, complement our intellectual abilities. Um, as computers get more ubiquitous, by the way, uh, this and a number of other slides were supposed to be animated, but I'm having to present it out, uh, out of PDF uh, due to incompatibility, so apologies for the flattened animations. Um, with ubiquity uh, brings uh, greater and greater dependence in our everyday lives. And uh, as, uh, as uh, you know, computers become more and more essential uh, to us, they become part of our bodies and part of our minds. And whoever can read your private data can ultimately read your thoughts increasingly in this world, right? So, but let's, you know, let, let's uh, bring things down a notch from, from this, you know, kind of uh, philosophizing to just practical everyday reality. So how about your personal security? So we had a, a wonderful uh, um, uh, talk about passwords this morning. But, uh, and there's certainly all, all forms of passwords, but I want to 